So welcome back to another art history videos by Inadao. And today I'm Cecil. I'm going to represent about Patsy Valdez, uh, one of the painter installation artists from Los Angeles, California. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So Patsy Valdez is um, a painter and installation artist from Los Angeles, born in 1951 in East Los Angeles, where she grew up immersed in Hispanic urban culture, attuned to fashion, music, and films. Um, Patsy Valdez began her artistic career while she was still in high school. And Valdez is known for her bodily boldly rendered works that is very in themes from homage to female deities to a mystical environment. Born in 1951 in East Los Angeles, where she grew up immersed in Hispanic urban culture attuned to fashion, music, and films. She is the founding member of art collective ASCO. Valdez's work represents some of the finest Chicana avant-garde expressionism, which includes but not limited to painting, sculpture, and also fashion design. She began her artistic career while in high school with friends. Um, let's okay. Let's go to the next stuff. We are going to talk about um, in a DAO about us. Uh, Patsy Valdez, or I'm sorry for the notification and for her education and also her career. So, what is Inadao? Inadao is a female in Esperanto. Traditional art history has systematically, systematically excluded or mass women participation in the arts, while the participation has been increased since the mid 20th century. There is still a long way left to attain gender equality in the artistic scene. At the same time, there is a great opportunity, opportunity for women's participation in the crypto world. This may do in part to deficiencies in financial education related to the gender stereotypes. At Inada, we intend to promote female presence in both words, understanding that these can be linked in an empowering way. We choose to support not only females, but feminine focused projects that helps raise visibility about this specific experience. Okay, so let's get back to Patsy Valdez. So the career of Chicana artist Patsy Valdez in 1951, born in 1951, began in the late of 1960s when Valdez, Grong, Harry, Gambo Jr. and Willie Heron III formed the groundbreaking art collective ASCO. You can see the Alamo here from the ASCO. And through performance, photography, and conceptual art, ASCO responded with independent and rebellious attitude to the death, to the dirt and negativity of Latino representation in popular culture, as well as their lack of identification with Aztec imagery and Mexican national mural painting. And the group focused on the socio-economic and political issue and their sad community as inspiration for their street performance art. After ASCO disbanded in 1987, Valdez moved to a successful solo career, dedicating herself primarily to photography, photo collage, and clothing design. And by 1990, 1990, however, painting became her focus as she started to depict an saturated dark palette. Enter your domestic space. One example from his period is the kitchen. Uh, I can find the artwork, but maybe we will um, 
saw it in the next uh, slide. Okay, moving on into her educational. So she went to Garfield High School in 1970 and uh, studying in Otis Art Institute on 1985. Moving on into the career, since eighty since nineteen eighties, Faldis has focused on her painting, her honest skill, and invited honest critic on her first work, which helped her boost her confidence in her painting. So this is how it starts when she joined ASCO, and Faldis started to working with ASCO right away from high school, right out of high school. And then she was very involved with street performance art and cinematic goat film stills. In 1980, Fallis began to focus on painting. She started from a young age. She dreamed of a being great painter. She also explored interior and exterior space in her work. And she favors still lives. Moving on into 1994. She notes in an interview with Jeffrey Rangel that nothing is static in the universe, a concept of perpetual chaos that is evident in paintings such as The Magic Room on 1994. And, and her earlier work on 20, 2023, although she began her artistic career with ASCO and is still well known for her participation with the group. Valdez has grown into her own as an artist, is the one of the most recognized and successful Chicano artists working today. And I really like her quotes that she said that I can only go forward now. There is no way I can ever go back. Beside that, she also have her solo exhibition In 1992, Pati Valdez uh, have her solo exhibition um, called Distant Memories on Daniel Saxon Gallery, Los Angeles, CA. And moving to 1995, 1995, I'm sorry for my English. <laughs> uh, Pazzi Valdez has a solo exhibition too, A Room of One Owns in San Jose Museum of Art in CA. Also in 1999, A Precarious Comfort in Mexican Museum, 2001 on Patricia Croatia Gallery, Santa Monica in CA. Also at 2014 in Pasadena, CA, California. So this is her photography um, artworks. The first one is a portrait of Patsy. I really like this one because I don't know, it seems, um, it seems like she's showing her the courage and the stuff that, what is it called? like really ambitious on this picture i really like this picture and the second is alamo with harry gamboa jr in 1976 and the third is portrait of sylvia de delgado delgado i'm sorry on 1980 and and the fourth one is the decoy gone decoy gang were victim from Esco, Harry Gamboa Jr., Grong, Willie F. Heron, and Pussy Valdez in 1974. Willie F. Heron the third, I'm sorry. So moving on into her paintings, the first one is the split image. I really like this green print. Um, she picked the nice color and it really blends well together 
I don't know, I'm not a, a professional um, artist, but I really like this one. And moving on into uh, the second one is the LA Stripes TJ. Yeah. I, I like the uh, black and white uh, art on this on this picture and also the collaboration between the the picture that she picked on this on this um art next we got forbidden fruit yeah you can see all the um the texture she made and the color she picked also I mean like this painting is really brave I can I can see that this painting is is on uh, 1991 and the fourth one is the party's over this is a acrylic on canvas and next we got blue room this is also acrylic on canvas next we got um the umbrella in 1993 this one is kind of a family of the famous the famous one uh from my research because i can see the focus part on the picture and she picked blue and the background is on the color of red next one we got volcanic sunday yeah i really like this one too i mean like uh the intents of the image and then the color the outline the, the, the outline color that she picked is really satisfying for me this is also is on an acrylic on canvas next one we got dark dawn yeah i cannot judge uh too much on the art because i don't know if my um if my what is it called mm, if my what is it opinion is really matters next one we got hobie horse yeah this one is kind of cute this one is kind of um cheer up more than the pain the the art that she draws before hobie horse is made in 1995 this is also is on acrylic on canvas next one we got still life with frida kahlo yeah i really i really love frida kahlo arts everyone love her art <laughs> This one is painted by Pazzi Valdez in 1998. That's when I was born. <laughs> and I really like this one. For the next stuff, we got Karen. This also is all acrylic on canvas on 2000. It's made by Pazzi Valdez. Next one, we got Quan Yin. yeah i don't know if i if i if i need to say a lot about this this uh about about these art because i really like her her, her stuff i mean like the what is it um the ambience of the art is, is always represent what 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 is uh, she going to to talk about? What is she ex, uh, feeling through? 
And next one we got um, Imaginary Garden in 2003, made by Patsy Valdez. This is acrylic on canvas. And this is really a cheerful one. Uh, like like the, the last one that I that I said. I like this one. Next we got the studio. This also in 2003. Yeah, I can I can pause it a, a, a bit for you guys to saw the art because these art that I pick is really interesting for me and uh, I picked the the most satisfied that I that I thought that it would be. I mean, like these paintings are really great, made by Paz Valdez. Next one we got Ombre is a man in two thousand and six. This also is acrylic on canvas, and yeah. I will take a, a moment to see this. And we'll go to the next one. We got souvenirs. Yeah, she said Asco there in Mexico. And what is it? Harrods. I can't really, I can't really read that. So this was uh, made in 2015. It is also acrylic on canvas. I mean, like, uh, I really appreciate uh, the effort of making an art because it needs, and it's like, you need to feel, you need to feel it when you draw or when you, uh, put anything on the on the canvas I mean like it is not a easy job to do because it um, it needs to yeah in you need to feel feels things to make arts I guess and next one we got the garden pad this is on 2015. I like the um, the leaf that she draw. I like the the color. I like the what is it? Gerbang. What 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 is what is gerbang is? Um, <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me search it. Yeah, I like I like the gate. I like the gate that she made, the the structure of the gate, and the leaf. Also, the roots that intertwine in the gate. Next one we got. I'm sorry. Next one we got. The Valentine in 2015. Also, we got Turbulent in 2015 also. And the next one we got Turbulent. Also, this is on acrylic on canvas. And this paint was made in 2015. Next, we got the Isolation. COVID series 2020. Yeah. I'm not going to, t uh, I'm not going to make, I'm not going to say a lot of opinion, but I like the, the spreading red color on the, on the center of the image. Next, we got Calaveras de Azucar. 
on 2021 made by Pazzi Valdez. Um, maybe of all the artworks, this will be my favorite one because it is kind of cheerful yet it is um kind of i'm 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 not going to be, i'm not going it is scary but i like the tension of the uh the structure of of this artwork this was made in 90 and 92 until 2021 so this um really needs really um have a longest time i suppose for for Faldis to make next one we got calaveras de azucar no it's not calaveras de azucar i'm sorry for the trouble next one we got divination of memory in 2023 Yeah, this is the latest work, I guess, I suppose, from Valdez. And besides that, in 2000, uh, she showed at Patricia Corisha Gallery in Santa Monica. In 2006, she showed at the Angels Get Cultural Center. Also in 2011, she showed at Fuller Museum at UCLA. And these artists have profoundly influenced the aesthetic voice of the Latinas in the latter half of the 20th centuries. And for the first time, we'll be shown together. Um, Valdez is the recipient of J. Paul Getty, the Trust Fund for the Visual Arts. Fellowship, National Endowment for the Art Fellowship, and the Brody Arts Fellowship in Visual Art. She won 2001 Derby Artist Fellowship. Her art, included in the Museum of Collection and Small Smithsonian American Art Museum, National Hispanic Cultural Center Collection, National Museum of American Art, the Tucson Museum of Art, the San Jose Museum of Art, the Czech Marine Center for Chicano Art, Culture and Industry in Riverside, California, and the El Paso Museum of Art. So that is all about Pazia Valdez. Um, that is uh, not of all the art that she made, but I hope you guys know him, uh, know her for the better now. So thank you for uh, listening and watching this video. Uh, thank you for Creative Dow and your protocol for supporting this video. And I'm Cecil Forum in a Dow. I'm signing off. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you on the next art history videos.